टूडे वी स्टार्ट अबाउट फाइनेट सेट वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थियोरम ऑफ फाइनेट सेट वर्सो स्टार्ट वर्सो डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट लेमा एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ फाइनेट सेट डेफिनेशन ऑफ फाइनेट सेट एंड वन इम्पॉर्टेंट लेमा और कॉन्सिक्वेंट लेमा ऑफ फाइनेट सेट Now we discuss about one great theorem or important theorem in finite set. Theorem statement is: Let A be a set. Suppose that there exists a bijection A. There exists a bijection A A two one two dot 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 in for some n belongs to Z plus. Let B be a far past subset of A. Then there exists no bijection G. B two one two dot 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 n, but provided B not equal to five, there does exist a bijection A is B two one two dot 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 n for some m less than n. If B equal to five, then we know that there can't exist a bijection from empty set to a non-empty set. We prove by by induction. Let's say B C B a subset of Z plus. Consisting of those integers for which the theorem holds, we shall show that C be inductive. From which this we conclude that, okay. That means. C equal to Z. C is inductive means the that is C equal to Z plus. Okay, so the theorem is true for all integer n. So the theorem Term is true for all integers n. Okay. First, we show the theorem is true for n equal to one. Okay, first we show the theorem is true for n equal to one. How we prove it? We write this. Today we we'll discuss about now so the theorem is true for n equal to one. In this case, a consists singleton element. A consists just singleton a. Okay, and its only proper subset is empty sets. Phi is proper subset of a. Okay, then then we show that from phi to a. We can't generate. We can't generate a. We can't generate. Generate a bijective map. Okay. Next. Next, we assume that the theorem is true for n. Now we assume that.
The theorem is true for n. Then, then we prove it for n plus 1. We prove it for n plus 1. Suppose that Suppose that if a to 1 to dot 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 n plus 1 is a bijection now now b be a non empty proper subset of now B B A non empty proper subset of A. Okay. Then choose any element from choose any an element A zero or B choose. A0 of B and an element and an element A1 of A difference B. We apply the fourth proceeding. We apply the preceding lemma approved in previous class. Then we give it. Then we get there is a bijection. There is a bijection Z. A difference is 0 to 1 to dot 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 A. Now V difference A0 is a proper subset of now V difference A0 is a proper subset of A difference A0. For A1 belong to A difference A0. For A1 belongs to A difference A0. Okay. but not to B difference A0 then this one is proper subset okay then then what we do we do because the theorem has been assumed to hold for in the integer A Because the theorem has been assumed to hold The theorem has been assumed to hold for the integer a We conclude the following. There exists no bijection. A is B difference A0 to 1 to dot 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 in either B difference A0 is 5 
or there exists a wise action. Or there exists a wise action K B difference A0 to 1 to dot 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 P where P less than N. Okay. Because the theorem has been assumed to hold that for integer n, we conclude the following. There exists no wise action from this to this and either this equal to phi or a wise action k b difference a0 to p, p less than n. Okay, for this one is hold. So, the preceding lemma combined with 1 implies that there exists no bijection of b to n plus 1. Then, then what we found? We found, we reach for this properly. The preceding lemma combined with one implies that the preceding lemma combined with one implies that there is no bisection of B with this one. This is the first half of what we want to prove. That means we proved first half of this theorem. Okay. Next we do to prove second half. If we start prove second half or second portion. We start if B difference is 0 equal to 5. There is a bijection B of B with set 1. There is a bijection from B to singleton 1. While if T, while if P difference is 0, equal to not equal to phi then we can apply the preceding lemma we can apply the preceding lemma along with two To conclude that there is a bijection B with there is a bi there is a bijection of B with with 1 to dot 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 p plus 1 okay 
We can applying the preceding lama along with two to conclude that there is a bijection of B with this. In either case, in either case there is a bijection B with this. The induction principle now shows that shows that the theorem is true for all n belongs to J plus. Okay, so we prove this theorem so simply. Let A be a set. Suppose that there exists a bijection if A to 1 to dot 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 A for some n belongs to Z class. Let B be a for a subset of A. Then there exists no bijection G B to 1 to dot 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 A. But provide P not equal to phi, then there does exist a bijection H P to 1 to dot 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 M for some M less than A. Now prove this color, corollary about this theorem. That means we just handle finite set, we use this lemma and this theorem. Okay, so easy theorem. But we prove it now. We busy on corollary. That means what corollary tells and what why how we induced corollary from this theorem. First corollary: if a is finite, if a is finite. There is no bijection of A with a proper subset of itself. There is no bijection of A with a proper subset of itself. We we'll prove it. Assume B is a proper subset of A. And that if A to B be a bijection. By assumption there is a bijection
The composite G not F inverse is there. Okay, that means G not F inverse be bijective. If F A to B be a bijection and B be a proper subset of A, then by assumption there is a bijection from a to 1 to dot 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 a for some n then g not f inverse g not f inverse is then bijective a bijection of b with n then a bijection of b then a bijection of B then a bijection of B with N with 1 2 dot 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 N okay then the contradiction of preceding theorem okay then the previous theorem have so that means tell us that this theorem contradict okay then then we see that if a is finite there is no bijection from a with a proper subset of itself okay that means g a to 1 to dot 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 n then g not f inverse that means g not f inverse b to dot 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 1 to n is can't be a bijection because b is a proper subset this contradict this contradict contradict the above theorem or the consequent theorem so so this corollary is true now next we prove next we prove z plus is not finite okay net next corollary is the function proof the function if z plus 2 z plus difference 1 different y if n equal to n plus 1 is a bijection of z plus with a proper subset of itself is a bijection of z plus with a proper subset of itself that can't be possible for finite set that can't be possible for finite set so z plus be not finite okay so so z plus be not finite understand now we discuss next important corollary the cardinality of a finite set is uniquely determined by A. 
Where is this portion? We will discuss another corollary. Another important corollary about finite set. Corollary is that the cardinality of a finite set A is uniquely determined by A. The cardinality of a finite set A is uniquely determined by A. Let m less than n. Suppose there are bijection. Suppose there are bijection if a to one to dot 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 n. and g a to 1 to dot 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 a then the composite then the composite g not f inverse 1 to dot 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 a to 1 to dot 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 a Okay, is a bijection of finite set with a proper subset of itself. Is a bijection of the finite set A of the finite set 1, 2, dot, 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 A with a proper subset of itself with a proper subset of itself contradict the corollary because m not equal to a okay then y action is not possible so so the cardinality of a finite set is unique now we we'll stop here